hey guys welcome back to another live video um today we are making matching shirts for the top that we just made yesterday for those who haven't yet checked out this top guys there's already a tutorial and a written pattern for you guys to follow to achieve this same exact look for this crochet top so it's called the granny stitch fringe top uh that's what i decided to call it because it's made of the granny stitch and then it has fringes it's a perfect summer top if worked in cotton if you don't mind acrylic that's perfectly fine for you and uh, for me i used acrylic yarn and uh, i was able to pull off a very beautiful decent look for my top so today i am in the process of making um the matching shirts because the moment I released this tutorial, I noticed that so many questions were coming in for the shirts. And yeah, of course, um, I think the best way to do it is to release the shirts almost immediately and then um, we go on to the next project. So I'm in the process of working the shirts. If you can see here, we are working the waistband. I'm in the process of recording the tutorial and uh the granny stitch is something that i really love i can't say this enough because it's one of the stitches that i use the most for my crochet projects so we're going to make the shirts and then i think after this i'll jump onto one of my favorite designs it's a dress it was on my old channel and it didn't come back to the new channel because i felt like the video was not as good as i wanted it to be so i'll be recording a whole new tutorial for the dress and then re-uploading it to the new channel so yeah that's what i'm currently doing you can see i'm working the waist band which is supposed to create a ribbed effect for the waist and then these shots are uh kind of like very short i want to do it exactly like the inspiration photo so we don't have a lot of length when it comes to the downer part of the of the shirts but if that's something that you would love to learn if you want to make like granny pants using this same exact technique but something long up to whatever length that you want you can leave a comment down below i can help you guys out and i teach you how to do that the only challenge is that one would take a whole lot of time to do it but um, maybe I could do a demonstration of something small that you can turn into any size for yourself so for this uh, tutorial uh, I've mentioned so many things and you'll be uh, seeing how you can apply that knowledge into your day-to-day -day crochet activities. I've mentioned the hip width. I've mentioned the round fly. And the round fly is usually from here all the way to here. So we measure the round fly from this point all the way down in between the legs all the way up to the other opposite side of the shirts or the pants. That's something that so many people don't mention. That's why sometimes you make shirts and then it's not as high waisted as you planned for it to be. So uh, in this tutorial, I have tried to clarify on that, throw some light on that. And uh, yeah, we're still recording the tutorial, by the way. So hopefully it could be out tomorrow. I don't know if today is possible because by the time I finish here and uploading and editing and everything, I think the day would have gotten done. So another thing that you can try out, I was thinking of it by the way, uh, you can have maybe like this design. And then you can get flowers just to make it unique you can get two flowers you can place them at this point look at how beautiful that is guys 
if you would like me to make a tutorial for you guys just let me know in the comment section i feel like these are the small things that really make a difference when it comes to crochet projects so you can place one there and one here and it creates a whole new feel for our top it's more like a summer top but something with a different touch a unique touch that creates a lot of beauty and elegance so i was thinking of this then maybe we can get some more flowers and then attach them onto the shorts to make a full set you can just randomly place or you can plan it out and have one here one here one here anywhere of your choice you can just do that and it will create a very vibrant look as opposed to just a very plain crochet granny stitch shirt so these are some of the tricks that you can try out uh, you can place hearts you can place flowers you can do mushrooms just to give it a little bit of uniqueness so let me know what you guys think about this is it something that you would like or uh, you'd prefer the plain one it looks nice with the flowers thank you Sandra I also think it looks very nice with the flowers but you never know some people have a different taste and maybe they wouldn't prefer the flowers on it so you just do you actually these shots have taken me a very long time I don't know um, yesterday I had time to recreate our top again and you can see this uh, this is in yellow it's not yet finished but it's the same exact approach as the mint green version so I haven't yet worked the edging of the top and uh, I was trying to see if I could recreate that fringe set the fringe skirt paired with the fringe top but I, I don't know if I'm going to take that same exact approach I'm not yet very sure but if I get time I want to see what it looks like because in the tutorial I told people to try try it out and give me feedback on how it looks like but uh, I just want to do my own version and take my own photo my own final photo and I see how everything will turn out but this is it um, this is a very beautiful set yellow I love mustard yellow so anything with mustard yellow works for me yeah I think let me just go back to my shirt and work my waist, waistband with you guys if you have any questions ask if you have any comment uh, um, just drop it down I actually thought the shorts would take me a very short time but turns out it's not a very short time it's something that has really consumed my time so for those who have just joined we are making matching shirts for our granny stitch fringe top this is because the request was uh, I got so many requests in my Instagram DM the moment I posted that the tutorial was available so I decided that today that will be the tutorial that I'm working on and we're almost done we're almost there at least now I can see the progress of the project look at our waistband guys which waistband do you prefer do you prefer the single crochet back loop only or you prefer this double crochet front post and back post double crochet I don't know what waistband you guys prefer but I always go with this because it's very easy 
and quick i find the single crochet one very time consuming Please give the description for it. Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, description for what? Thank you so much for the tutorials. You're welcome, Rachel. So I think you can see how long it takes to just go around because I think since the beginning of this live I've been on one round of the waistband and it's taking me forever to finish so these are a few things that so many people ignore the final touches but they make a whole difference when it comes to the final look of the project so it's something that you have to invest your time in. So I guess we are almost done. 